this arena on the BG campus. Wiggins, McRae, jumping up, underway. First possession for Fry and Bowling Green. Turner the touch. High post play, Plowden the kick out. Air ball miss on a three. Caleb Fields could not connect. Massenburg, easy defensive rebound. McCray up top, buries a three. Montel McCray. But what happened right there was they doubled on the corner with Massenburg, and Massenburg was able to find the open three-point jump shooter. McCray is 6'10", but he can knock down the three. It leads a team in three-point percentage. Ryan out for long-range marksmanship. Reverse layup for two, and the Falcons' first points of the night. I like Dylan Fry getting to the rim. He's a great shooter, but I like the way he gets to the basket. Great save by Graves along the sideline. And Jordan play catch. Graves looked like an extra step, but no call. And Amagio Wiggins, first of what BG fans hope will be many rebounds tonight. Averaging a double-double. And offensive foul call. Daquan Plowden's first. Nate Oates, reigning MAC coach of the year. Fourth season as head coach, and we heard his keys to the game in that great three-game locker room access. Also the fourth here for Michael Huger. He's 0-6, head-to-head all-time in Buffalo. And we talked about this being a tremendous opportunity. He said to us today would be his biggest win as BG's coach. If they can pull it off tonight against number 18, Buffalo. Miss Harris Long Ring. Rebound for McCray. Jordan to take and the left and the two. Devontae Jordan. Devontae Jordan is getting better and better as the year goes on because of his defense. It turns into offense. So, so important that they don't let him get going offensively. Turner will be harassed all night by a variety of bulls. Up top, buries a three. Didn't need a lot of room. Max, third leading score, almost 19 a game for the sophomore from Detroit. Harris kicking out. A great thing about two threes early has a second triple. A senior forward, Montel McCray out of Cleveland. Right now, Wiggins is guarding him and they're pulling him away from the basket. That's not his game. Wiggins by himself. Missed the jam. McCray was late on the help. And somehow, DiMaggio Wiggins can't convert. Jordan travels out of the end, turned back over to Bowling Green. First Buffalo three-point jump shot. You'll see Massenburg gets doubled. He gets doubled over there. Both guys guarding him, and then he just lets it out of the double team and throws it to McCray for the wide-open three. It's important right now. That Bowling Green does not get down in this game. They've been able to come back to other teams, but this is a team they will not be able to get in the hole and try to dig out of it. Wow, rejected by Harris. Buffalo's on the move. Massenburg in the corner. There's a three. Three threes already for the visitors from Western New York. And what they've come out of is a dribble drive or because Bowling Green is double teaming them. Good ball movement right now in the half court for the Bulls. Turner and BG try to respond. Fry the step back. It's a two for Dylan Fry. That's money for Dylan Fry, the recruit out of Miami, Florida. Obviously, the coaches were down there. It was Coach Laranega wasn't going to go to Miami as you see another three ball by Graves. But Dylan Fry is a guy that has a beautiful shot. If you're a young kid, watch his release, watch his high arching shot in the rotation. Three-pointers, a big theme early here. Four of five from beyond the arc for Buffalo to begin the game. Wiggins the back end, the jump hook too strong over McCray. Offensive glass, Montel McCray. Here comes Jordan and Buffalo. They will rebound and run all night long. Kicks the Graves. Return pass, Jordan in the corner. Thinking about a three ball, not this time. McCray a battle and has the offensive glass. First miss from beyond the arc. Really good box out by Wiggins. 
so important that the Falcons win the rebounding war. They're the leading rebounding team in the conference. Falco leads us to our first time out at the Stroh Center. Wolf gets packed, and it's raining breeze inside this building. But they're going to get it off the defensive end. Jeremy Harris with a nice block, and that leads to a run out. The Bulls on the loose in Bowling Green. At Boston College. Yeah, and he was a guy that recruited my son, so I got to know him. He was Tom Brady's quarterback's coach. And uh, I'll tell you what, he, uh, he's got his work cut out for him, but I'll tell you, he is a great coach. There's a reason why Boston College is so good this year. Foul call inbounds. Blaisaw, Coach Leffler's team, is here to root on the Falcons. Big game here tonight. Two fouls early against BG, so it's back to Buffalo. Massenburg, he'll hang. Tough shot off the glass and in for CJ. You can't allow him to get in the lane. That's one of the things that every team tries to stop is a dribble penetration. He got right into the basket, uses his body so well. He can go in with the bigs, and he scores down low. Fry from deep. The kid's got a gorgeous shot. We watched him shoot around today. And love how he can throw it up. And he opened up his game by getting to the basket early. Harris a three rims out. Hot cold over the last few games for Jeremy Harris, star for Buffalo. But others have been picking up the slack. Two times six man of the year in the back. Nick Perkins in for the first time. Turner, early three. Fry's been the offensive story for Bowling Green. This time a miss. Sierra into the game, committed that foul a few moments ago. First appearance for BG, Marlon Sierra. The Ruthers hangs and hits off the glass. Dante Carruthers off the Buffalo bench, defensive stopper, offensive star the last few for the Bulls. Well, you wonder why Turner's not touched the ball the last three times down the court, but Dante Carruthers is guarding him. They rewarded him by getting him out on the fast break for the easy two. Massenburg matches up with Turner for now. Wiggins, the back end on Perkins, jump hook is good. That's what the Falcons need. Wiggins has got to be a force on the low block. He has struggled mightily in the last six games. Averaging only six points a game, as you see Nick Perkins. Perkins from wow. deep, Steve. He was deep. That was from the Detroit airport. So that's what you have on one end of the court. You have Wiggins, who's 6'10", 6'11", on the low block, and that's where Perkins is gardening. The other end of the court, Perkins can bring it out far out so that Wiggins can't guard him out there. And you'll see the, gla the glass is going to be a key for both teams, but uh, Buffalo has to win that. They have to get out on the perimeter. Right now, uh, Fry is knocking down threes. As far as Bowling Green, the live ball turnovers will kill you against Buffalo because they'll get out in transition. So those two go together. You have to stop the Bulls when they get out running because they get straight to the rim. I mean, that was a deep three by Nick Perkins. It makes it hard. It's hard to guard a team when your biggest man shoots three, four feet behind the three-point line. Michael Laster is in. Referee Udu is in. Sierra they talked about is in for the first time as well for Bowling Green. Sagu is in for Buffalo, and that's off the hands of Jeffrey Udu, redshirt senior forward from outside Chicago. And he's turned back over the Bulls up by nine here. Lester, you got to make sure when you're throwing to a big guy, they have to be ready for it. You don't want to throw it too fast or too high. You don't want to throw it at the feet. Sagu travels. And a freshman from Orlando. Can miss the turnover, something NATO's team had had some trouble with over a three-game stretch. That changed. We saw them last week at Kent State. At the Max Center improved and continued against Ball State on Tuesday night. Well, if they are 10 turnovers a game, and the way they force defensive transition with their active hands, Buffalo is almost impossible to beat. Well, they are, but you have in their half court. You can't be dribbling the ball so much. If you was really letting the ball stick, especially when you got like Perkins and Harris and everybody else shooting the three ball. No roll for Sierra. From three. Massenburg, defensive rebound. Seven rebounds a game for CJ. Pulls up. Can't hit from 15. Need you the rebound for Bowling Green. Nicole Astor 
In the game for BG. Fry, deep three in the corner, maybe partially blocked. Sagu came out there and got a piece. Extending on the perimeter defense. That's what they're going to have to do to shut down the Falcons. The Falcons on the defensive end have had some pretty good uh, possessions, but they cannot allow that dribble drive into the paint. Corrupts, good pass. Perkins, offensive foul. Position better for Uju. Well, Uju came over there and made an instinctive move. Moved his feet quick, stayed outside of the arc. You'll see the good dribble drive by Carruthers. Uju stood right his ground. That's a great play. Another look at it. Perfect pass. And Perkins is better. He should have taken that little jump shot. He's got such a sweet touch. We know he can shoot from deep, that's for sure. Keep it outside that lane. Yeah, that three hit tonight was a bomb. Turner top of the key, trying to get loose against Carruthers, the stopper. Sierra. Yes! Tough. Low percentage farway shot from Marlon Sierra, the JC transfer for Bowen Green. Well, what Sierra did was he stepped in, the defense was on its heels, and then he took it and raised up. That's a smart play by Sierra. Graves in the corner. Can't convert on three. Knock loose Sierra out of the hands of Perkins. Turner. That's a loose change. Sierra, really good hustle for Bowling Green. Blaster driving the basket. Can't finish with the left. Sagu to run out. This is Buffalo's game off missed shots. They love the fast break. Carruthers is free. Four, three. And Buffalo converts again from long range. And that's all ball movement before Sagu held on to it and it hit the turnover. This time, they reversed the ball, made the extra pass, and there was nobody guarding the jump shooter for a wide open three. Driving a miss. Antoine Lillard rejected. Six threes already won't be first half for Buffalo. Big reason they've got a lead on the road tonight. Well, how do you contain a team when your biggest man on the court shoots at three, four feet behind the three-point line? And dead nuts on that one. And then Sagu throws the ball over to Carruthers for the nice jump shot. The handlers. The only thing standing between two fouls. Jordan and Carruthers have done driving in the lane, kicking back out. Was my call from the Detroit airport, is that too much? <laughs> Overkill that? Uh, 75 miles. <laughs> that was deep. That was deep. It was. It's, wasn't that deep? Smiles <laughs> for C.J. Massenburg early. Talk to us today about maybe a 17-1 MAC record for Buffalo. Only done once. 2001-2002 Kent State team from Stan Heath that went to the lead eight. Blocking foul is called. That's on Uju, his first. It's nice. Nate Oates knows he's got something special this year. Well, it's nice. And his bench, you look at two of his basically stars, Nick Perch and Perkins and CJ Massenburg sitting on the bench. But you get great production coming in. Carruthers, Carruthers. travels on the feed from Jonathan Williams. We talk about it. 17 wins, 0-1-0-2, the best ever in MAC history. Miami won 16 three times. Buffalo is one of those teams, by the way, that won 15. They won 15 and three last year, en route to a MAC tourney title and the NCAA tournament. Turner free for a moment and hits. Got the high post pick and delivers. Well, that time there was a switch. Carruthers, who's been guarding him, has kept him at bay. That time there was a switch and Graves on him. Just didn't get out quick enough. Beautiful shot by Turner. He needs to get on fire. Brothers drive, kick out Jordan. Fire, miss on a three. Look at that rebound from McCray. Weak side offensive glass over Plowton, but he lost it. Handled it too long. Here's last to the run out. That's why Lillard, one of his seniors at BG. Green's never won an actually title in school history. A 10 game win streak. Got fans here pretty excited. Turner hits another. Contested this time. That a two ball. Other end drive and two. But that's the problem Carruthers. right there. You cannot score and then allow transition buckets. And that's exactly what Buffalo will do. On a miss, on a make, on a timeout, they get the ball out and run. You've got to step up and take that charge. Carruthers, wild shot through traffic, but a blocking foul. And Dante Carruthers. And a senior from Rochester, New York, will shoot a couple. Well, Justin Turner, you'll see 
right there. There's a pick over top. This Uju comes over and sets the pick. You see, Graves cannot get out. That's just good offense, bad defense. Graves has got to realize that the pick is coming and step over top of it. We had a nice chat with Dante Brothers today. Back defensive player of the year. He said, I can stop anyone anytime. Offensive star in high school in Rochester, you know, East High School. He scored 28 points a game. A couple JC stops, two stress fractures. And even in his first year at Buffalo, transferring to the D1 level, trying to become an offensive star, he couldn't get to the court in practice. He knew the only way to do that was to play defense first. The offense would follow. Now Carruthers one of the best defensive players in the nation. You know, played against Jalen Walker last week. Came off the bench and just shut him down for a period of time. And with as combustible as this Bulls offense is, if you get stops four or five times down the court, you're able to build a lead. And that's what they've been able to do. He's got nine points to team best. And Jay Massenberg replaces him in the Buffalo lineup. So again, Carruthers getting the job done offensively. 21 points. Seventh double-figure game of the year Tuesday in that home win against Ball State. Miller pulls up, needs some help. Justin Turner's getting in line and starting to hit some shots, but they're not able to make up any distance because Buffalo is getting the ball out in transition. Fry, it's a blocking foul. And Jordan doesn't like it one bit. Nate Oates was pointing for a charge. He'd like an explanation from the on-court officiating crew. First on Devontae Jordan. Devontae Jordan is so quick. Let's see if he gets over there and gets set. He's still moving a little bit, but I tell you, that's a, definitely gained an advantage on the offensive side. So I think Fry might have gotten away with one there, but this is a very, very strong Buffalo team. They're going to do some damage in the NCAA tournament. I think they're definitely at large bid. Turner step back. Contested back iron miss. Harris. Tracks down an offensive glass for Buffalo. Jordan has drawn 17 charges, second on the team. Nine for others, 18 entering play tonight. Blue collar stats so important for Buffalo. Williams a wild shot. Out of control, and Wiggins has the rebound. Nation's fifth leading rebounder. It's free for two. Imagio Wiggins, a couple of field goals. Averaging a double-double entering play tonight. Well, when you are such a good shooter like Justin is, he was able to have a pick and roll. Everybody came out on him. Watching Turner, Wiggins rolled to the basket for an easy two. Plowed the overplay, and Massenburg not going to get much of an easier layup than that. Uncontested for two more. And a pump, Jordan on Fry. That's Jordan's second. Keep an eye on that. Maggio Wiggins, you need to get production out of him on the low block. This was set up by Justin Turner. The double team off the pick and roll. Nine point lead for the Bulls. It's absolute confidence in 30,000 precision parts, or it isn't. It's inspected by Mercedes Benz factory trained technicians, or it isn't. It's backed by an unlimited mileage warranty. Two. Only miss of the night from Justin Turner. Eight points on three or four shooting and two threes. Third in the MAC in scoring. Jalen Walker, after a big game last week, we had from Kent State against Buffalo, now has the required 75% of games played. A miss. Carruthers, the run out and the lay in for Buffalo. Rhino. This Bulls team, they play like junkyard, junkyard dogs. They have 12 fast break points, and the ball's just free, and they're going after that 50-50 ball like it's their lunch. They want to go after it, and the teams they play have to step up, and they have to match that intensity. Turner drives. There's a switch, and he had a mismatch with Harris. And Justin Turner converts. Double figures for Turner. The same for Carruthers. The first two in the game here tonight. Justin Turner is going to be a phenomenal player. This guy's got everything. He's got the great attitude. We talked to him today. He can shoot. He can drive. He's got to work on getting stronger. His coach talked about it today. Got to get his body in shape to be again playing in night, in night out. Perkins a miss. Rebound for Turner. Really tough shot in traffic. Wiggins put back. 
can't convert, but he will shoot a couple of free throws for Bowling Green. And you have to defend. The hardest thing to defend against Buffalo is the unknown. The unknown is they can take it to the rim and transition, and they score, and they finish. And there's so many guys that are good in transition. And they go deep to that bench. Second foul on Perkins. So he and Jordan, two personals each for Buffalo, and here's Wiggins. The senior. One more free throw for DiMaggio out of Toledo, Ohio. Not far away, just a few miles north of us here in Bowling Green. We had a nice chat with DiMaggio and Justin Turner today, and they talked about could be their biggest moment as BG Falcons a chance to win tonight against number 18 Buffalo. It was interesting talking to Wiggins about how he got on the court. He said freshman year, there was a sophomore, junior, senior ahead of me. The coach looked at him. Hugo said, said to him, hey, listen, Hugo said, I want you to play, but you got a rebound. And from that point on, he became a rebounding machine, and he's one of three guys who end up having 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. Cornelius Cash and the great Nate Thurman How about that? on that list. Amazing. And he knew all about those guys. Harris baseline. Kick out from McCray. Well, this has been the offensive star for Buffalo again. He'll drive through traffic. Tough shot! And one Dante Carruthers. With bodies everywhere. A harm in the hoop and a chance for a three-point play. Well, it's interesting how the game started out was three-point land. And everything was dribble drive to the basket and kicking out. In the last six, seven minutes, everything's drive to the basket. Using that body control. And Carruthers is taking it strong. He's got a lead. Scoring 11 points. 12 points now in this first half. Has missed a shot. Four for four from the field. And three free throws for Dante Carruthers. I told him in high school he's a great offensive star. He's been known as a defensive stopper at Buffalo. Fry, backdoor cut, and two for Dylan Fry. Dylan Fry realized they're overplaying him because he shoots so well. And he was able lost to get, it. And it's turned back over to Bowling Green. He was able to get an easy layup at the basket. But when somebody overplays, you'll see on the, the, left, hand, or the left side of the screen, he just does a little backdoor. Instead of coming all the way to the elbow, he goes back to That's a smart, smart, instinctive play by Dylan Fry. Fry step back. Hits another two pointer for Fry. And a double figures. A tremendous first half for Dylan Fry, the junior from Miami, Florida. Their, their problem right now, Ryan, was not on the offensive end. They're getting good shots. It's on the defensive end. They have to stop the transition in the dribble run. Massenburg, baseline out of bounds, and turn back over the Falcons. Air of aggression for NATO's team. We've covered a lot of these games. He doesn't mind that too much. That's a sloppy play from their star. One of the best in Buffalo history, CJ Massenburg. Got a little bit too deep. There's three guys there He's way in the lane. Yeah. You, you, you got to make sure you get up quicker. This time, Instead of doing the back door for Turner on the right side, time he was able to pull up, shoot the jumper. 15th time, 46th of his career dealing Fry in the double figures. Turner, really tough shot. Contested three by Massenburg and Airball. Here's Harris on the run out for Buffalo. The lefty, JC transfer all the way for two. High off the glass. Well, Harris hasn't done much in this first half because the guards have been able to dribble drive and Perkins hitting the three. And now Harris comes down, gets his fourth point, drive into the basket. You gotta step up. Somebody's gotta step up and take a, an offensive foul. And that really is Wiggins on the other end. He's the weak side help. He's gotta stop over in that area and try to help out. And 14 points, five of 20, shooting one of 11 from three for Harris. Last two games entering play tonight. Caleb Fields free. He got fouled. Contested beyond the arc by Harris. No whistle, Massenburg. And the Bulls on the move again. McCray's got a couple threes in this first half. Here's Graves, top of the key, 4-3. Trayvon Graves, second triple first half. Graves has done a great job. Just take what the defense gives him. He's open, he's going to shoot that shot. And as soon as you think the Falcons come back in to the game, Buffalo comes down and knocks down a three, gets an easy two. Turner hits. Over Graves.
gets into a bump by Fields. That foul call. First on Caleb Fields, a freshman from Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. What a career, C.J. Massenburg, fourth most in school history in terms of points. 17-15 entrance play tonight. That huge game, the win early in the year in Morgantown against then number 13 West Virginia. Have to average about 25 a game in the guaranteed games they've got. Assuming they get to the semifinals of the MAC tournament to set the all-time Buffalo scoring record. Won't be easy. Sagu up top. The freshman from Florida can't hit and a foul caught on the rebound. On C.J. Massenburg. Not a smart play by Massenburg. He got the foul before that. Uh, he's got to really be smarter than that. But Massenburg, his scoring is important. But I think his demeanor on this team, his leadership, his quiet leadership, the way he passes the ball, scoring is not that big a deal to him. But it's amazing how close he can come to being the leading scorer. But winning is. Oh, he loves winning. Winning is. And I think Buffalo fans watching tonight at Western New York would agree. He's got to go down as one of the all-time best players in program history. Sierra, free throw, has one more. Not only J.C. transferred from Miami, Florida, went to Western Nebraska JUCO and led that program to a national J.C. tournament appearance. It's first since 2001. It's a couple free throws for B.G. The B.G.'s only down eight. I mean, and Buffalo has come out on fire shooting the basketball. If they can get it down to six at halftime, I think that's a win, especially with the momentum that the Bulls have shown in the first, the first half. Goes out of control. Sagu bails him out. McCray fall out of three. Does not travel. Fans would like a walk call, please. Massenburg feels a lot of contact. McCray five to shoot. Here's Harris. He'll pull up. Long range shot way short. Great effort, Massenburg. Baseline. Buffalo ball here. They're going to call foul. I think it feels like for pushing him out of bounds. We'll straighten it out when we return to the show center. 4,300 Falcon fans don't like it right now. Balls by eight. Previously. He's hit at least four threes in a game, so he's a weapon. Between about the three last four years under Oates. 57 and 11 when you have to shoot your opponent from three. And under 500 when they don't. Seven threes, first half so far for Buffalo. Carruthers on the post up from Massenburg, and Dante Carruthers earns himself a trip to the free throw line to shoot two. It's a beautiful pass in the lane. Trying to get the, the guards. You see, Massenburg makes a wraparound pass. So it's a guard to a guard. They get a foul on Justin Turner. First on Turner. And Carrello is right back to the free throw line. Has one more. So many interchangeable parts, Rhino, on this Buffalo's team. We talk about, you know, how good Buffalo is. And you know, they had a blip in the radar against Northern Illinois. They realized they can't come in in the MAC and just... Put their uniforms on and roll the ball out. This is a tough conference. And you got to play in night in and night out. That's what he talked about with his guys all day during the shooting round. Got to be ready. We got a target on our back. Dante Carruthers hits two. The season best 21 we talked about Tuesday in that home win against Ball State. Not really tested. They led from wire to wire against the cards. And that one, Wiggins post up. Short jump hook. Who's changed defensive glass? Carruthers, Buffalo on the move again. They love to rebound and run. Graves in a corner. Three ball, rattles out. Perkins a hand on it. Buffalo ball. Buffalo is moving the ball so well on offense. They'll get, they're getting any shot they would like, whether it's dribble drive or moving around the perimeter, making the extra pass. Perkins the post up. Tough to match up with Nick Perkins. And he set it up. I mean, most guys shoot the ball right handed. That time when he lined up against Wiggins, he faked like he was going to the right, but hey, he's left handed. Shot it off the glass. Perfect shot. Man to man coverage down low. No double team. Perkins is a good passer out of the post. That's that's why it's hard to double team him. 6'8, 250. Good luck checking that guy. 
Braves too aggressive on the handoff. Weave play for Turner. And a foul committed by Javon Graves his first. Ronnie, you're a left-hander. It's I think it's a built-in advantage. He goes to the right. Hey, I, I forgot he's, he's left-handed. Right off the glass. It's a real asset having a guy like Perkins come off the bench. We've talked about it before. I mean, back-to-back, -back, six man of the year award. Could make it a third time. I don't know if anybody's ever done that in any sport. You know, coming off the bench and winning that award. One more for Turner coming up on at and at the half. Head of the NFL experience in Atlanta. One last tie to preview Super Bowl 53 with Adam Zucker, Amy Trask, and London Fletcher. Also joined by Mac Commissioner Don, Don Steinbrecher. Stats and highlights also coming up from here at Bowling Green. There is the commish here tonight to watch this big matchup in the Mid-American Conference. That's all coming up on at and at the half. Steve's bag of tricks is on our menu for tonight as well. Gonna go bowling at Bowling Green. Can't wait to see that. Perkins drives through traffic, gets a roll. Nick Perkins so tough to stop. So your little guy is on the low block trying to score, throws it back out to his big guy who takes a dribble drive to the basket. I mean, that's just uh, a great move by Perkins, knowing how much time was on the shot clock. And so far, Buffalo has won the points in the paint, and they've won the rebounding category. Millard for Fields. Caleb Fields, a freshman off the glass for two. Tough shot. Dante Carruthers is bleeding. That's why I've got a play stoppage here. Looks like it's over the left eyebrow. Took a shot. And we'll get 10 2. There you go. By Buffalo trainers quickly here. But for safety, of course, officials make sure he is off the court. Bowling Green, number one in the nation, rebounding Wolfie. 43 plus boards a game. And look at that. The Bulls have the edge on the boards. Right. Bowling Green's rebound margin, number six in the nation, Wolf entering play tonight, plus 9.4. That is a huge stat, something NATO's talked about with us at the bowl shoot around today would be so important. Stop, steals, deflections as usual, fast break points, and rebound. And Perkins is set up head to head with Taylor Matos. The freshman from New Hampshire commits a foul. But that's exactly what Nate Oates does. As soon as he sees a new guy getting in the game, he takes Perkins, the big body. You can play him outside, play him inside. He's isolated on a low block. See Coach Oates with Coach Whitesell right there. These guys really got it going. Buffalo. One more for Perkins. All Mac preseason East pick for good reason. He's sixth all time in Buffalo scoring. We talk about Massenburg as Segura's back in for Buffalo and his great numbers. Perkins will go down. Also is one of the all-time great Buffalo players. Jamie Harris, the senior. Well, Perkins has played growing up with Turner and Wiggins. Both of the guys from BG played against the Millwall Valley. They have ultimate respect for Perkins. Massenberg is senior. Perkins is senior. We talked about some great players. On Tom McCray also last season at Buffalo. What a run the Bulls have put together under Nate Oates here. Dante Carruthers and Perkins contributed that 22 to 4 bench points over Bowling Green. 90 seconds left in our first half, and Turner bumped on the way to the basket. Buffalo trying to go to the NCAA tournament, but winning the MAC tournament for the fourth time in five years. Never been done in MAC history. It all started with Bobby Hurley, now the Arizona State head coach, Pete Arizona, for the first time in his tenure last night in Tempe. And Nate Oates says, not only take a baton and carry the torch, but it's gone in a much better direction for Bulls fans. You know what? It's interesting. I mean, every year that I've watched him coach, he's gotten more relaxed at the shoot-arounds. He's an intense guy, but he knows when to turn it off and turn it off. Two fouls, Massenburg, and a miss, Turner, front end of the one-and-one one for BG. No reason to shoot early in this shot clock. They're going to try to get the ball into Perkins. That toes on the low block. Tennis shoot, Carruthers. Nice through traffic, can't finish this time. Harris, offensive rebound. Into the corner for Carruthers. With a minute to go in our first half. A fresh possession here in the half court for the Bulls. Carruthers had it taken away by Fromm. Turner for two.
16 first half points for Justin Turner. Jordan on the rim. Into the corner. Williams. Too strong on a three. Carruthers hustles. Tries for the offensive rebound at the elbow. Turner a battle. Carruthers, the blue collar points. Piling him up. And Matos hustling there for Bowling Green. Commits the foul. And the freshman can't believe it. That's his second. Points. Matos will check out. Blue collar award given out at the end of each game for players like Nick Perkins for Buffalo. Reflection steals, blocks, defensive rebounds, loose balls count for one point each. Rebounds a point and a half. Floor dives for two points. Draw a charge again, four points. 142 points combined in their Tuesday win in Buffalo against Ball State. That was a best not only for the season, but since NATO started the blue collar point program. And Dante Carruthers told us as the officials go to the monitor to review that last play, all that contact with Matos and Dante Carruthers. So the most points they've compiled since they started the program. And but Dante Brothers was so proud of that. We talked to him today at the Buffalo shoot-around. Why not just keep going, Sid? Steve is getting in position to interview Nados at halftime, and now he's with us. Yeah, which if you're if you're BG, you really want to keep it under 10 at halftime. Get this crowd in the game. You heard him talk about how many students are here. It's a huge game for the Falcons. The runners can't convert, run into the one and one Shot clock turned off here, Wolfie. To wrap up our first half from the Stroh Center. Now the most important thing, Rhino, is to get a good shot. Run the clock down. Don't give the Bulls a chance to have a live ball turnover for transition. Turner, a lot of contact. Wiggins, weak side rebound. Stick back, try to foul McCray. And Amagio Wiggins shoots a couple with one second even on the clock. The ball and green. Well, Turner took it to the basket, and we talked about Wiggins all night long. He's got to bring it. That time he was available on the other side of the rim when the ball was overshot. He has a chance now to cut into this lead and get it under 10. Call that on Jonathan Williams, not McCray. Amagio Wiggins, one more free throw. Much-needed momentum, Wolfie, as you talked about, to end the half here. For Coach Michael Huger, Wiggins hits a couple free throws. Well, it, you know, you miss on the other side of your Buffalo, and then you make Bowling Green. It's a big change. Bowls by eight. As Bowling Green goes for its first win against a ranked team in 11 years. It will not be easy. I mean... And BG can play a lot better than they play, so it's going to be a heck of a ball game in the second half. Fry and Turner, 11 of 17 shooting for Bowling Green. The rest of the team, 4 of 15. So someone else, DiMaggio Wiggins and company, has got to pick it up for Bowling Green to win their first game over a ranked team since 2008. <laughs> BG last year. 7 and 11 in league play. They've got six league wins already this season. Could equal last year's output with a victory over number 18 Buffalo tonight. Second half unfolds right now. Well, I know they were picked last in their conference. I mean, this is a team that's, you know, playing really at a high level with six wins already. You know, they haven't lost here at home. And this crowd, they got to get the crowd back into it early here in the second half. Jordan, rebound. Plowton said no. But Jordan steals the outlet pass, takes it right back for Buffalo. Harris thought about a three in transition. Does not pull a trigger. Jordan travels on the way to the basket. It's right back to BG. But this frenetic style is what Buffalo thrives on. Well, they really do. And when Wiggins gets that rebound, he's got to protect that basketball. And last time, he let Jordan take it out of his hands. He's got to be strong. You know, I really enjoyed talking to Coach Huger this afternoon. And 
and he knows what it takes. This is a huge game for Bowling Green. They got to get it going and make some stops on the defensive end and then knock down jumpers on the other end. Like that from Dylan Fry. Step back three. His second three ball. Largest crowd in Pro Center history. Almost 4,400 here tonight, jammed into this arena, which opened about seven years ago. Hoping for a win. Harris, too strong, feels the rebound. Hands back to Turner. Back to back, great stops defensively for Bowling Green. And there you are, Wiggins. Johnny on the spot, leading rebounder in the conference. It's so important to stop on defense so you can get that open jump shot at the other end. A step back three by Dylan Fry. And they get another stop. You see Turner. Initial stop was good by Buffalo, but Wiggins cleaning it up. Foul by McCray partner. That is his second. Uh, Wiggins, one more free throw. 12 double doubles this year. 11th in the nation. Last year averaged a double-double as well as he is this year. Almost 14 points, 10 rebounds a game. Spot of course, hits a couple for the Falcons. And just like that, the Falcons are back in this game. They've done it defensively, not allowing Buffalo to score in the half court. Now three straight possessions. Jordan's out of control. Not sure where he's going there. Turnover right back to BG. Look at Wiggins move his feet. He gets over there, does not foul. That is a good no call. And now BG coming out of timeout, playing solid defense. Turner Hangs had it blocked away. And 18 to shoot here for Bowling Green. The defense coming over McCray. 6'10 big man helping out on the dribble drive. Really good defense. And tops in the nation in rebounds per game. Out rebounded by a lot by Buffalo first half. Bulls haven't scored second half. Fry, three again for three. Back to back Jack still and Fry to open the second half. Carruthers at the red. Had it blocked away. But a foul. Loudon, a lot of contact. Commits the personal before the block. Michael Huger in disbelief. Two on Daquan Loudon. The dribble drive, the help out on the inside by Plout. You're going to see that there's a foul. Taking it to the basket. But but this is what the Bulls are doing. They're a little out of control in the half court. They have to settle down their offense because the Falcons are playing solid half court defense. Perkins in, Harris out for Buffalo. Now you'll see Fryer with a two, two point jump shot inside the line. But he's getting over there quicker. He's able to set up his shot because he's got Jeremy Harris on him. Good recognition by Fry. Realizing he's a bigger guy on him. Gets it off quick. Carruthers. It's... Buffalo's got to hit... A stop defensively so far in the second half. The Falcons have been able to get what they want getting to the basket and also getting that outside jump shot. Wiggins on Perkins, spins, and scores, gets a roll. That time, instead of making an old fashioned jump hook, he went up and under. Smart play by Wiggins. Massenberg answers with a three. And that's what they do to you. Dribble drive and kick. And it's a step in three for C.J. Massenberg. Whenever Buffalo gets down or there's a run, they look to their leader. Cloud another end. Off the glass and in. They caught Cloud the first points of the night. The sophomore from Philadelphia. But Uger said that if we can keep them under their average points per game, which is in the 70s, we're going to be good. Right now. They're doing a good job in the second half, the half-court defense. Perkins airmails the pass from McRae, turned over. Well, you watch here, instead of going up over top, he goes underneath, gets away with the chicken hook on the inside. And there's Plout just taking it to the basket. 
strong. That's a big boy pants move. I'm sender off saying that last week. He said that like last that. week, our coach is wired for sound. And Kent State, that was fantastic. Odd court audio from the head coaches. Great access. Fry hangs. Tough shot. Back iron miss. Rebound for Jordan. And the run out. Kicks the Carruthers. Offensive foul. Dante Carruthers. But did he call that on Carruthers? Or they called on Jordan. I think Let's they called see. on Jordan after the fact. Jordan, you're right, runs right in. You're right. It's on Jordan. Field. Yeah, he runs right in the field. That's a smart play by Field stepping up and taking the charge. Because that was an easy two-point bucket. And that's Brothers. three on Jordan, partner. So he sits out for now for Buffalo. Now that hurts Buffalo defensively. But Buffalo, they'll put in Zagu. He's good offensively. Turned over. Wiggins at 6'10 with tremendous reach for Michael Huger. Can't corral a pass from Caleb Fields. At that time, you could take a you know, dribble drive, get a better angle instead of just throwing it in there from that elbow area. I like the idea, though, getting the ball into Wiggins. Perkins, never shy from three. Short. Turn of the rebound. And the Falcons on the move. Buffalo's out of sync offensively. They're not a really good half-court defense or offense. You know, they need to try to get some, you know, transition points. They haven't been able to get that one here the second half. Price pass for Wiggins, broken up. Right on time. There's a Massenburg for Harris for two. That's a transition bucket. As soon as they say it, they turn it over. Fry lost it. And Buffalo's able to get down in transition. Why is the crowd for now? What Carruthers is face guarding Turner. Harris a block from behind on Wiggins, but a foul call. And DiMaggio Wiggins will shoot some free throws when we return to Bowling Green, Ohio. Buffalo does well as they turn you over. They get the ball in transition. That is their best offense. We got a game here. It's absolute confidence in 30,000 precision parts. Or it isn't. It's inspected by Mercedes-Benz factory trained technicians or it isn't. It's backed by an unlimited mileage warranty, or it isn't. For those who never settle, it's either Mercedes-Benz certified pre-owned, or it isn't. The Mercedes-Benz certified pre-owned sales event now through February 28th, only at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Okay, Kevin, USAA Bank is here to help you stay on track. Budget's looking good. Clear for a fill up. Clark, thank you. We are a go on the beef jerky. You know what? We need some hydration, too. Hey, see? USAA Bank helps you take charge of your everyday spending so you can stay a step ahead. Let's rock and roll! Find help at every turn with USAA yeah. Bank. <laughs> It's true. Humans would do anything for avocados from Mexico. No judgment. It was the 80s. Avocados from Mexico. It's time for some straight talk. Some folks say less is more. That's ridiculous. More is more. And when you buy a new phone from Straight Talk Wireless, we'll give you 50% more high-speed data for the same low price. That's 50% more data for posting selfies, more for streaming cute baby videos, more for whatever you want. Get 3 gigs for 35 bucks or 15 gigs for 45 bucks and America's largest and most dependable 4G LTE networks with no contract. Straight Talk Wireless, everything for less. What makes DiGiorno crispy pan pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, 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 pan. You bake it fresh in its own pan, giving our DiGiorno pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Buffalo led by 12, first half, 10-0, BG run, though. They're right back in it, four-point game Friday night. And Buffalo's win at Kent State, Bulls head coach Nate Oates, who is wearing a mic for CBS Sports Network, wired for sound. What do they mean? They'd be listening to you at 6'4"? Yeah. like 6'2". No. You're my height. Now, Buffalo fans in the front row. No, I thought you would be much more entertaining than me, Mike Dump. <laughs> Great job! Let's go, Monday! Oh, 
Well, we love the access. Thanks to coaches Cinderoff and Oates for wearing the mic for us last week at the Mac Center in Kent, Ohio. Reigning Mac Coach of the Year. And what a record and run Nate Oates has put together, taking over for Bobby Hurley, now the Arizona State head coach. Contract signed during the MAC tournament last, tournament last year. Brand new house with, I believe he told us, a bowling lane well, in he, the basement. He did a great introduction. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yes, he's got a bowling lane oh in there. Oh, my. I want to go visit the Oates house. Sounds great. Wiggins was fouled by Harris. He committed his second before the break. And one more free throw here for DiMaggio Wiggins, senior from Toledo. Double-double in 19 of his last 38 games. Entering play tonight, what a force, hits two. Has hit all four of his free throws here in the second half. Two-point game. Yeah, but he's really picking it up here in the second half. You can tell the energy level. Coach Hugo said that he needs to give us energy when he's playing. He's doing it here now in the second half. Harris in the corner, short on a three. Tracks down the miss. Possession arrow goes the other way. Harris cannot get it going. He has struggled from behind the arc. He struggled on the inside. Jeremy Harris, he's three of nine. 0 for four from behind, or 0 for five from behind the three point line. He's been in a rut, surprising. 44 threes entering play tonight. Turner, free throw line. Bouncing Wiggins lost the handle. Four blue collar points earned by Buffalo. Now it's Massenburg on the move. For the Bulls, a little Euro step. Doesn't get a roll. Wiggins can't find it. Harris for Sagu. Another 50-50 ball. Massenburg in the corner for three. The pass from Graves. Unselfish play for the Bulls. Ball movement. Bingo. Well, the Falcons had an opportunity. It was a good dribble drive and a pass inside. Wiggins lost it. Buffalo converts on the second chance basket. Third three of the night for C.J. Massenburg. Last we're back into the lineup for BG. Here's Fields. Hanks can't hit, but he is fouled on the way to the basket, and the freshman for the Falcons shoots two. Can't give Buffalo a second chance basket. And he was able to set up, take his time. Very slow recovery over there. Trying to get a hand up. Clown's just not quick enough to get over and get the guard. But you give Buffalo a chance, it's problematic. Two foul Steve on Graves. And one more free throw here for Caleb Fields. First point of the night for the freshman from New Jersey. He made six threes. A Sierra return for BG in a game this year. Against Tennessee Martin tying a single game. Bowling Green freshman record for threes made. Six triples in one game. It's a couple free throws for the Falcons. Antoine Lillard. Senior from Cleveland returns. Fields, job well done with the two free throws, is out. And the coaching staff for the Falcons is saying, let's pick it up. Let's get the intensity. I'd like to see Turner get the ball a little bit more in his hands. Try to set some picks to get him open on the offensive end. He's their leading scorer, third leading scorer in the conference. Harris challenged by Wiggins, out of bounds. And the struggles continue for Jeremy Harris. The problem is, it's that half-court offense. And when, right now, they're big. Buffalo's big. They need to be able to move the ball and let it not stick like they did at the possession before. Wiggins high post. Hands to left. Lefty jump. Air going and good. Michael Laster. First field goal tonight. I love the dribble drive. Step back. Leaving him wide open. That's a big shot for the left-hander. An hour before Bowling Green went through a shoot-around today. Michael Laster getting that practice in. That's out of bounds. Officials confer here. Nate Oates thinks certainly that's Bulls ball. And it's going to go back to BG. The, def the defense in the second half has been the key for the Falcons. Their half court defense is stepping up. They're stopping dribble drive and they're extending on the three and they're making it hard for Buffalo to score in that half court. Lillard hands to Lester. It was hit by Harris. It's a chance for a four-point play for Laster. Let's see, was that a two or a three? It's a two-point jumper. Foul on Harris, chance for a three-point play.
Well, sometimes your offense affects your defense. Jeremy Harris is struggling on the offensive end of the court, and this time makes a play that he should not make. I mean, that is, you never foul the jump shooter. And last year, the JC transfer told us today where's that number zero in honor of Russell Westbrook. The star of the Thunder creates a thunderous reaction at the stroke center here. And look at Bowling Green up by two thanks to a 7 0 1. Jordan trying to respond. Hanks can't hit. Sierra defensive glass for BG. One and done. One, re one rebound, and it's a defensive one for the Falcons, doing a smart job of not allowing second chance baskets the last couple times down the court. Sierra. Drop puck with a left. Short. Harris the rebound. Up the flank from behind now. Bounce in the corner. Carruthers. Kings a three. Jeremy Harris took Wiggins into the post from the three point line. Dribble drive and kicked it to Carruthers. Carruthers is wide open. Second three of the night for Carruthers. 19 points to lead the way for Buffalo. Continue trying to get the ball inside to Wiggins. Perkins, it's a strong. Look how far away Wiggins is from the basket. Laster with four to shoot. Step back over Jordan. Hits another. Michael Laster, that practice has paid off. Lassner in the half court has taken over the last four possessions. Harris still cannot find the range. Can't buy one. And Lassner has the rebound. He's doing it all here for BG. Tries for the basket. Hangs. Can't hit. Foul call. And a timeout for the Stroh Center, which in jam-packed record crowd tonight. And they're responding to Michael Lassner. He's taken over this game, Rhino. One point lead for the Falcons. Smelled an upset in Bowling Green. What is this word that starts with a V? Vegetables. What for? Coriander. Is that a Swedish band? What food group would you put pork rinds in? What happened? There are lots of questions out there. I don't know. What to serve at game time should never be. Different tale for Bowling Green, and they have done a good job defensively. They've done a good job offensively. But able to get the ball and penetrate the defense of Buffalo, they're only allowing one shot. Typically, if you're under the end of the court, and Lasseter, who was 0 for 2 in the first half with no points, is 7 points here early on in the second half. BG is led by a grand total, Wolfie, of 59 seconds in this game. It's pizza night for the students. We saw the entire football team is here. Brand new head coach after a 29 season in 2017 for BG in the football field. Michael Huger knows how big this win would be potentially for his Falcons. He said the biggest of his coaching career, year four, after a 500 season last year, a 10 game win streak, putting BG on the map with the Mac and the nation. It was interesting talking to him about how tough the Mac is this year. And he said, back in my day, they played at Anderson Arena down the street. But he said, we had a lot of good teams back then. That's a, you know, both Ball State went to the Sweet 16 with Chandler Thompson. He gets the Mac, and he is ready for an upset. This is a big, big game for them. Sierra fronts Perkins, the takeaway for Bowling Green. Laster nine off the bench. He checked this one short. And it's important now that he's got some, you know, offense going. He's got to make other people better. That wasn't a quick shot in the shot clock, early in the shot clock. Got to move that ball around. This is Massenburg's time in my mind. He's got to take over right now. Short though, in the paint. Jeffrey Udu, redshirt junior, defensive rebound for Bowling Green. Back cut, Fry, three, runs into Perkins. Kick out for Marlon Sierra. Antoine Lillard thought about a three over Harris. Ten to shoot for Uju. Take, not the two. Perkins, weak side rebound. Nados wants his team to run more. Nados needs his team in the half court to have the ball not stick, move it around. The intensity right now, uh, the Falcons have defensively, has been phenomenal, and you're going to see a block here. 
That's on Fry. It got physical with Carruthers. That right elbow really moved out for Dante Carruthers. Whoa, that could have been very easily an offensive foul. Watch Carruthers' left arm as he's driving. I'm sorry, his right arm. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's gaining a clear advantage of um, if I'm gardening. I don't know what you mean. I know what you mean. Could have been an offensive foul. Carruthers has that band-aid after the cut. Man, that doesn't bother him one bit. As he buries a deep three, he's got 22 in the game tonight. And three threes for Buffalo. We are tied at 63. The Rhino, that was a one more pass open jump shot. You know, McCray had it and made that extra pass. Beautiful. Sierra up top. Three rattles out. Harris tips it over Uju. Claimed by Carruthers on the move. A lot of contact. Kick out Harris. Perkins was set up. Overplay by Fry in the steal. Transition three. Dylan Fry for three. And this joint is jumping. McCray on the rim. Not close. Massenburg. Offensive rebound and stick back. He does it all for Buffalo. Well, the Falcons have done a great job defensively rebounding here in the second half. They haven't had given up many second chance attempts, but then you got a guard that gets in there and gets that easy chippy under the basket. Drive for Antoine Lillard. Fry wanted to try the reverse layup, lost the handle briefly, kick out Lillard. He tries a three and hits. First points of the night for Antoine Lillard. Three ball. Massenburg on the red with the left. It's CJ time for Buffalo. You can feel the energy in this building when Bowling Green gets a lead and then Massenburg comes down and takes it all the way to the basket. Bowling Green being very smart offensive. I like that Fry has the ball in his hands because he's able to make guys better the way he's shooting the ball tonight. Fry power. Dylan Fry has been the different difference maker. Harris cannot get out quick enough on him. That's actually a semi-fast break. Pull up three. And then Lillard from behind the three-point line. About the same area that Fry was shooting. And now Fry's at the free throw line. First foul call on Columbus. And Fry's got one more and a line changer. A lot of guys in and out. One of the highlights of my day here at the Stroh Center was meeting the entire Bowling Green team this morning. Mike Uger had all the players come over, the team managers, all the coaches, and shake hands with us. That's his tradition when someone new comes to the building. He wants his Falcons to say hi. Pretty cool. Whether it's an alum, whether it's a high school team. And, and we had a chance to ask the guys, do you get that? And they said, yes, sir, we really do. They shook hands. But they looked you in the eye. This is what Michael Uger wants to bring to this, this ball team. They get better and better every year. Wild looking shot. Perkins bumped and will shoot some free throws. Let's see here on that call. Two shots coming up. And Michael Huger was saying he was still on the floor, but I mean, this guy worked for Coach Laranega, who's now at Miami, Florida. He also coached with him at George Mason. And that Miami is Florida. Yep. Not Miami the Mac. Well, the funny thing was, he said, Coach yelled at me less as a player and more as a coach. And I think he appreciated it. So he just, when you have troubles, what do you do? You call him. He said, I talk to him a lot. His mentor. Said he learned poise, patience, and understanding. And three big keys from Jim Laranagos has had such success in his several coaching stops. And one of the keys, including right here at Bowling Green, his head coach, Michael Eager's head coach. One of the keys Coach Luger said is, I think we really have to keep Buffalo from getting their number of points per game. And doesn't look like that's going to happen, but Bill Fry keeps playing this way. Another back cut for Fry, and Bowling Ke Green keeps fighting him in the half court set. He's had a huge night. Sagu back in for Buffalo. A big test for the Bulls here. McCray spins to the basket. Tough shot off the glass. Montel McCray for two. Boy, you, should, you can hear that on television. Nate Oates just slamming his foot and telling him to get in there and play defense. Because right now, the Falcons are doing whatever they want on the offensive end. Foul off the ball. 
that's going to be Ronaldo Segu picking it up for Nados. What an atmosphere is Grove Center tonight. BG by one over the 18th ranked team in the nation. Some places make cheesesteaks in a fancy way. Has been free several times for BG tonight. Well, you'll see right here. Here's a, a screener, but Fry will go this way, make his man think he's going to go to the basket that way, and then he'll go straight over here. So when you're setting up a screen, go ahead and roll it. Doesn't matter where the screen is. You've got to set your man up. That's an easy way to get to the basket. Smart, instinctual play by Dylan Fry, and he has been a difference maker in this game. 9 12 shooting. And 22 points tonight for Fry. He's fouled by Sagu before the break. Ronaldo's second personal for Buffalo. His career high, 2017 against Norfolk State, 28 points. He might smash that tonight. Gets a roll, and one more coming. He's got a soft shot. Look at his arch. He gets it up high in the air, and he's got a great follow through. Good rotation on the ball. And that actually helped that ball to get down there. He's got a shooter's rim. All Mac freshman team, 2017 for BG. This is the second Perkins has the rebound here for Buffalo in a one possession game from the Stroh Center. It's important for Buffalo. Jordan has got to stay under control. He's got four fouls. Watch the dribble penetration. Move the ball around. They need him in there for defense. Look scattered here in this possession. Perkins regains oh, the take. No two. Williams, a hand on it, but it's out of bounds to the Falcons. The Lillard really was fighting in there. The only Falcon that was under the basket amongst a bunch of bulls. At the 50-50 ball. A good dribble drive to the basket. Williams not able to get it. It goes off Williams' leg. Very quiet here in the second half, Rhino. Wiggins spins. Tough shot. McCray with challenge. Foul called on Montel McCray. His second. The energy level for Wiggins in this second half has gone up a couple notches. They're trying to get the ball to him in the paint. He's not the greatest passer on the double team. So when he's got man on man, he's going to take it straight to the basket over that left shoulder. You know, if you're McCray, you want to push him to the left. Take away that left shoulder. 12.6 rebounds for Wiggins tonight. It's 56 board shy of 1,000 career rebounds. He'll go down to one of the all-time greats in BG history. And one more free throw coming up here for Wiggins. It was interesting talking to him today. He said, I look at that board every day. The board meaning where all the retired jerseys are. And he sees Nate Thurman over there. He sees his assistant coach, Anthony Stacy. Wants to be up there one day. Foul call on the perimeter. Massenburg will drive to the basket and turn. He's the guilty party. Well, that's the second. At that time, I know Perkins has the low block. So Massenburg can throw it to Perkins on the low block. He decides to get Turner in the air. Turner had a backtrack and hit the foul. Actually, a pretty good foul because Massenburg gets to that basket. He's going to score. Jordan way off on a three. Plowden, defensive glass for Bowling Green. Antoine Lillard is on the move. I'd go back inside again to Wiggins. I mean, he's he's been serviceable down the low block. You know, you get guys on the perimeter that can shoot. Fry, not this time. A high Plumlee, a follow off the glass for Bowling Green. Daquan Plumlee. Perkins had it taken away by Lillard. Bowling Green's largest lead of the night. Turner for three! What is this word that starts with a V? Vegetables. What for? Coriander. Is that a Swedish band? What food group? We have us the last time they beat a ranked team. And Dylan Fry, Daquan Flouten and company would like to make some new history tonight. Fry's been fabulous. Well, and that's just 
very smart rebounding. I think if I'm Buffalo, I'm thinking that ball's going in because Fry has been so hot. And then here you see the lady scorer who's been very, very quiet here in the game. Turner, you, you know what I love about him? He doesn't shoot when he's not open. He doesn't get rattled if he's not getting his shots because that was a wide open three. And Turner brought the house down. He's got 19 tonight, three threes, and this place is absolutely bedlam here at Bowling Green. You feel it's make or break time for Buffalo. Good walk. Traveling on Carruthers. And it's going from bad to worse right now for the Bulls. Fry and Turner are 16 for 25 from the field. They have been unstoppable in the offensive end. And now they're playing really good defense. Another turnover for Buffalo. They are struggling with the turnovers. Last time they hosted a ranked team, 2012 Michigan State. They lost that game. So it's been a while. Fry, two more for Bowling Green. In free throw. There's the BG football team. They've got the jerseys there. New head coaches here rooting on the Falcons. Well, I think this really lends a lot of credence to the back and how good it is this year. I mean, this, you can't tell me there's not, a, no way you can get two teams in the tournament. I mean, this, you've got Bowling Green who's playing unbelievable. you got obviously Buffalo, they're in for sure. And you got Toledo, Kent State. I mean, the tournament's going to be phenomenal in Cleveland this year. Can't wait. As we heard from the commissioner, John Steinbrecher, halftime. Steal. Massenburg, the overplay. Teammate Carruthers picks up the loose change and banks it in. Dante Carruthers, two more. And Buffalo with an eight. Really smart boot move by Carruthers. When he went across his body, shot it back behind his body. But what he did was found the glass. Used the backboard, knocked it in off the glass. They're going four low, and they're bringing Wiggins up to use the pick and roll. Right, a take again. Too strong this time. Offensive rebound for Perkins. Almost lost it on the outlet. Ryan nearly caused a turnover. Harris, can he heat up late here for Buffalo? Big possession here for the visitors. Harris thought about a three. Kick out Perkins. Nick Perkins, the take. The contact. No roll. Miller, weak side. Rebound. Foul on the baseline. Lillard is giving them a real advantage here in the second half. He's doing it offensively, yes. He's playing really good defense, and he's blocking out. You see him on the weak side. He finds it, looking for guys around there. Carruthers try to come in the backside. Lillard's got him on his back. Ten team fouls. So Lillard, free throws on the other end against Nate Oates. In the first half, it looked like it was going to be all Buffalo. And I'll tell you, the defense was really the problem for BG in the first half. Buffalo did whatever they wanted. In halftime, coaching staff got together, and I guarantee they said, we cannot allow the dribble drive. We have to extend on the threes. We've got to suck it up. Defense is hard. In the second half, the Falcons have really done a good job in that half court against one of the best teams in the country. Miller misses a couple. And here comes Buffalo with a lot of time left in the second half. Buffalo's got nothing from Jeremy Harris in this game. You know, he looks tentative. He had an open shot from behind the arc, and he's not even looking to take it. Massenburg will, and lay it in. C.J. Massenburg to spin and score for Buffalo. Right on. He went one on four. He went right in the lane for four guys guarding him. And now they're within two possession. It's important for the Falcons to get a good half-court series run here. you got Fry on the bench right now, but you got Turner in the game. Turner, pump fake on Perkins, needs some help. Kicks in the corner for Lillard, tries a three over Massenburg. A miss, Carruthers the rebound, take away by Laster, but he missed the stick back try. Carruthers is running. Harris this time tries a three. Again, a miss for Jeremy Harris, who just can't get on track. Rebound Wiggins. Lillard fakes a three. You, you don't need fakes it. Fakes a second three. He'll spin. Laster kept it alive. Baseline to Buffalo. When we return in a back and forth game. Momentum shifting a bit here. Each team a chance to build it. Six 
six-point lead. Bowling Green trying to knock off number 18, Buffalo. Hello, Super Bowl! We'll see what happens at the end of the game. Bowling Green, they have limited the turnovers, which has been good. And they've been able to, in the second half, they give up 18 for, uh, fast break baskets in the first half, only four here in the second half. So that's a win for the Falcons. So I think right now the game's going to come down to each to the possession. Whoever can understand how they have to play in the offensive end, moving the ball around. You don't need to take flying shots. If the three's there, take it. Wet run for Messenberg. Who responds with a three for Buffalo? And that was a Nado's play out of the timeout. Smart play. Good pick. Massenburg goes to the corner. They found him for the three ball. Massenburg has been outstanding here in the last three, four minutes. He's got 22. Wiggins spins on Perkins and earns a trip to the free throw line. CJ Massenburg. What a night. 22 now for Buffalo. Well, watch this right here. You'll see. Here's Massenburg on this side. He's going to go to the other side. And he's going to go around a pick. Wide open. Turner just couldn't get there quick enough. You just got to be impressed with Massenburg. He gets down the other end of the court. You know, when they're down by 10, he's dribble drive trying to take it to the basket. You know, he's carrying this team right now on the offensive end. He's 4 for 4 from 3. Turner is ready. It is 8 for 11 now from the free throw line in this game tonight. 14 points. Think about yet another double-double. Hits two. He's been clutched on the line. In the second half, it's a five-point BG lead. We've talked about how Wiggins has to bring his game for them to upset Buffalo. He has brought his aim game here this evening. Carruthers out of control. Turns it over. Taken back by Fry. That was great play by Lillard on the defensive end. Turner taken away by Jordan. Gets past Fry. Jordan to the basket. Can't finish. Look at the hustle, Carruthers. And he's fouled on the baseline. Dante Carruthers is giving every ounce of energy tonight for the Bulls. He's something. Dante Jordan's a junkyard dog. He just takes it. He goes in. No foul on that play. I'm not sure about that. But you'll see Carruthers just fighting. He plowed on that. Buffalo is not in the bonus. 16 fouls. Third on Daquan Plowden, the Bowling Green. And you can tell Buffalo with a definite sense of urgency now. The heavyweight fight. Look at Massenburg spins through traffic and a finish off the glass. He's got 24. Spectacular move for the senior from Dallas. Right, and the problem is the Falcons can't get set to take an offensive foul because he does such a good job in the lane of making a spin move to the basket. One possession game. About 90 ticks left in regulation. Now the slowdown for Michael Huger and the Falcons. Turner thinking about a two-man game with Wiggins. Loudon for Fry, five to shoot. Trying to bounce it down low. Intentional kick. This is kicked. But they have to look at Wiggins on the low block. He's been awesome at the free throw line. There's 20 seconds, of, 20. 20 seconds on the shot. They get a lot of time. That actually helps you if you're BG. Lillard up top, smothered by Carruthers. Turner floats and hits. <laughs> 21 for Justin Turner. Can Massenburg respond again? Put the team on his back. Layup not there, but he will shoot two for Buffalo. The senior will not let the Bulls go down without a serious fight. He shoots two. Well, Turner at the other end not only used his own men to set a pick, he used the Buffalo guys to pick each other so they couldn't get, he could get straight to the basket. Had that little floater is wide open in the lane. He's a sensational redshirt sophomore. He's going to be a good one here. Third on Wiggins. And we asked C.J. Massenburg today after the bowl shoot around, how do you want to be remembered? He said, one word, winner. Has it three for This guy. In the clutch has just been tremendous over his entire Buffalo career. 
I don't know if, if I've ever seen in Buffalo a better all-around player in the history of Buffalo basketball. I mean, there's a lot of great players, but this guy has won a ton of games, and he's been the leader in a lot of those games. Last minute of regulation, one possession game from the Stroh Center. No need to foul. Buffalo needs to play good half-court defense, and with you, the Falcons, get it in under the three-point line and try to get the ball into Wiggins, maybe get him to the free-throw line. Fry. Kick out Lillard. Fry in the corner. Back iron miss. Perkins has the rebound. As he's falling down, gets it to Jordan. Now it's Massenburg. Just over half a minute left in regulation. One possession game. Massenburg, the kick out. First, a foul call. That's a seventh foul, so Buffalo will be in the bonus with 28.8 remaining. I thought Massenburg was trying to get behind that three point line, but he's going to get to the free throw line and shoot a one of one. Dry's second partner and CJ Massenburg right back to the free throw line in a big spot. Shoots a one and one here for the Bulls. Student section. Rocking. Rattles out, missed. Foul over the back, Perkins. A rare miss in the clutch for Massenburg. And a big rebound for Wiggins. Wiggins is the guy that has been shooting those free throws and doing a great job from the charity strike. Lots of time left here, but these free throws are important because it makes it a two-possession game. A senior from Toledo told us today this would be the biggest moment of his BG career, beating 18th-ranked Buffalo tonight. Look at the free throw numbers. 9 of 12 and 15 points. Short this time. He didn't take his time there. He just went up and said, hey, I want to get this over with. He's got to take time shooting the free throws. Buffalo's got two timeouts. Bowling Green has three. But right now, this is an important bucket. Makes it a two-possession game. If you're Buffalo, you got a lot of time. But you got to go down and you got a good possession at the other end. Second free throw. Does he have tattooed in his legs? Fear none. Hoping not to fear the moment, but he misses the second. And two misses means Jordan is fouled by Fry on the perimeter. Fur on Fry. And a one and one here for Jordan. Coach Uger was saying, hey, listen, I want to foul him. That was an intentional, not an intentional foul, but the coaching staff looked at Dylan Fry and said, go after Jordan, put him on the line. So that was an, a game plan decision. And he's not a good free throw shooter. And that's what they did. It was a smart play. We'll see if he percent free throw shooter. Devontae Jordan, not good. Case in point, a miss. Wiggins, another rebound and a foul. And we'll have more free throws on the other end. And C.J. Massenburg. It's his third for Buffalo. It's like a Jimmy Valvano play by the Falcon coaching staff fouling instead of allowing them to get the ball in Massenburg's hands. I think it was a smart play, especially the way Massenburg's playing. We spoke with Devontae Jordan after the shoot around today. He said Buffalo has a free throw club. He worked so hard on it. And I asked him, we talked to him, how do you get better at that? It's just practice, but boy, a huge miss there, front end of the one and one. Now Wiggins hits, has one more. We have the confidence now with Wiggins after making that first one is immense. I mean, he struggled with the first two shots. This time, he just stepped to it, had rhythm, looked good. Gets a roll and hits two. Timeout. be the name of the game. Now, the first half, they didn't play much of it. Second half, 
They really strapped up their shoelaces and played solid, smart defense. They have contained Buffalo in the second half. Buffalo's half court offense struggled. And a lot of it's because of the defense play. Massenburg for our miss. Carruthers a follow off the glass and in plus the foul. Dante Carruthers rashes the glass. And has a chance for a huge three-point play for Buffalo. Wow. And that's what BG does well. They rebound, but that was a quick, quick shot. I don't think that the Falcons were ready for it. Obviously, Buffalo knew it was going to be a quick shot. Brothers, the guard, went in there and got the stick back. Now he cut it to a two-point game. Miller second. Carruthers hits the free throw. He set a new career high tonight in scoring. Timeout call. We'll take one as well. What a finish in store from Bowling Green, Ohio. <sighs> hey, what's up with the bike? No car insurance. I can't afford that after my accident. Sounds like you need a quote from the judge. Dante Carruthers. Now, this is a showcase for this conference. All these guys out here have given everything. This second half has been an unbelievable second half for both teams. Shot clock turned off. Inbounds. Lillard foul. 12.7 to go in regulation. A two-point game. And Antoine Lillard, the senior from Cleveland, will make that long walk to the other end of the court to shoot free throws here. 74% free throw shooter. It's the guy you want. He has been really a catalyst here in the second half offensively. Knocking down a couple three-point jump shots. Propelled his team back into the lead. We should mention a double-double again for Wiggins. 35th of his career and 13th of the season for DiMaggio Wiggins. Lillard, free throw. Missed it. Back iron. Wow. Uh, that now makes it. Even if he makes this, it's only a one-possession game. So if he makes it, you wonder, are they going to foul? Make sure that Carruthers or one of the outside three-point threats for Buffalo doesn't have a chance for a three-point jump shot. Hits the second. Three-point game. Massenburg is on the move. C.J. Massenburg for Perkins. Back for Massenburg. Launches a three. Back iron miss. Rebound. Turner. And he's fouled hard. With 1.5 seconds left in regulation. And the Falcons on the verge of beating 18th-ranked Buffalo. That's a man-sized rebound for Justin Turner. He went way up to get that rebound. That was so important, and we'll see what happens. Foul on Perkins. He's fouled out with 1.5 seconds to go in the second half. Replaced by McCray. Massenburg had a chance. And a couple games back, buried a huge three in the Cal against Northern Illinois that almost sent that game to overtime. Misfires here tonight at BG. Turner misses. So this is a real important free throw for the Falcons. He makes it. The game's over. He misses it. There's a, still a chance. 1.5 seconds. Hits it. Timeout, Buffalo. Down four. So you wonder why Buffalo's the biggest win in arena history. And it's up there in terms of victories in school history. They are ready to explode here at BG. And let's, let's also remember with the win, it vaults them to the top of the conference. So that's, that's bigger than any of this stuff we're talking about. The upset is great, but the conference winning the championship is that man's primary goal. Nobody's on the ball. You have five defenders guarding four. Reigns. Passing. It's broken up. Zeroes on the clock. And that's it for the first time in 11 years.